Hey, my loves, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, then welcome, and if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be testing out the new Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I got mine in the shade Light 6, and also I did get the brush for free as well, so if you guys wanna see how I apply this to my face and my final thoughts and everything, then go ahead and keep on watching. I hope this fits. It's really hard to find a shade online, but I absolutely love the glass. It's kind of like the foggy glass material and I really like it. So it does have a pump. It is a classic black pump. This is a $20 foundation. Um, I ordered it at just the right time, you guys. I did get the brush for free. So this is the Morphe E63 foundation brush and I absolutely love how it's like flat but like angled. I think this is going to work really, really well for foundation. Now I did order mine about a week ago. So today's Monday. So I ordered it last Monday and I was still able to get the brush. I had tried to order a few days before that and like it wouldn't let my order go through because the brush was no longer free at that point that they claimed. So I waited about four days and went back on and then it said that the brush was now available and that it was going to be available until quantities last. So if you guys go to try to order this foundation and the brush is not in there, I'm very, very sorry. So the brush itself does retail for $16. And honestly, you guys, I was not purchasing this foundation if I did not get the brush for free. So I'm glad I really did get it at the right time. So I'm going to take all the necessary steps that I normally would do. So I'm going to take the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. I'm just going to apply this all over my face. So I really don't know yet if this foundation is going to be dewy or if it's going to be like very drying. So I like to use a primer such as this one where it's not hydrating or drying so and you guys in Tawanda today where I live it is 60 degrees and I'm really really happy my daughter loves going to the local park so as soon as I film this video that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her to the park because she just like bugs me constantly as soon as it starts to get warm like 40 degrees she's like bugging to go to the park let's go ahead and start getting this on her hand so I did about one and a half pump and the shade it does look like it's gonna fit me pretty darn well so I'm just going to take the brush. Actually, I'm just going to kind of dab this on my face. So I'm just going to take the brush and just start kind of dabbing that into my skin. So first cover, it is really, really nice. But you guys know I'm definitely going to add like quite a bit more and I'm really really loving this brush so far I think it works really well and I haven't ever really seen a foundation brush as this shape but it's working really well with this I just feel like it's going to take a lot of foundation to like cover up my blemishes and stuff but it is looking very filter like I can say that it is looking very pretty on the skin. Let's go ahead and do the other side. It seems very thick, but yeah, very lightweight on the skin. But like just blending it in wise, it does feel very thick. So you guys, so far so good. And I think the match is actually pretty darn close. And I like how it is thin on one side because you can kind of turn it sideways to get around your nose. All right, you guys, so far so good. Let's go ahead and move on with concealer and stuff because right now I actually am really, really liking this. Like, I think it really does look like a filter. It makes my skin look very soft. I wouldn't say that it's full coverage, but I do say that it's a medium coverage and I think that you can build it up to full coverage. I'm not necessarily gonna build it up right now because I do have a lot of acne and dryness and I know that if I build it up, it's gonna make it look very crusty. So I'm gonna not build it up too much. Well, let's do concealer. I'm gonna take the Dose of Colors Concealer in the shade 7. We kind of do want to test this out and see how concealer and everything lays on top of it. I am just using products that I know work really well for me. And I'm going to use this Real Technique sponge to blend that in. All right, guys. So that concealer looks awesome on top of this foundation. I think it looks really, really good. So I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade Light. I'm just using a small Real Techniques brush. So I'm not really swiping this. I'm kind of just more so pressing this powder into my skin. With the rest of my face, I'm going to take the NYX Powder Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. I'm 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I literally just realized that my mic was sitting on my desk and not on my chest. So I hope you guys could hear everything that I was saying. Um, I am going to do my bronzer and everything else in camera. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild bronzer in the shade Wet Shady Beaches. It's just a really, really nice warm bronzer. Um, I really don't want to contour today because it's like super sunny and I want my skin to be very bronzy. This is definitely probably one of the best bronzers at the drugstore. Um, it's not really a contour, but it is a bronzer and it's very nice and pigmented. Like that warmed my face up so like nicely. For blush, I'm going to take this Morphe Blush Trio. This is in the shade Pop of Pink. And for me, I've been loving using this matte shade and then this shimmer shade right here. Just do two soft dabs in each. Also going to put a little bit of that right in my nose. The highlighter, I'm going to take this one by Wet Mall. This is in the shade Golden Flower Crown. All right, guys, so I'm going to get off camera. I'm going to finish my eyes, finish my lips, and then I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back, and let's go ahead and talk about this new Morphe foundation. So my final thoughts on it is I would give this 10 out of 10 stars. I think it's absolutely really, really nice, and it does leave my skin looking like a filter, and it did cover up pretty well for the most part. Now, the test with any foundation is to wear it throughout the day and see how it lasts, um, so I will either let you guys know in the description. I'll write it right here, or I will come back in for a check, and I'm not really sure. I guess it kind of all depends on how the rest of my day goes. Um, but I did set my face and I use the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I absolutely love this stuff. This is hands down one of the best setting sprays I've ever used and it's at the drugstore, you guys. It's really, really good. Now, I think the brush is a really nice feature to this foundation, but would I go out and purchase it on its own? No, I would absolutely not. And do I recommend purchasing, purchasing this on its own? I don't know. It's kind of iffy because if you guys are like dying to try it out and you guys are willing to spend the money, then it's a nice brush for that. But since the fact that it was given with this foundation for free for a limited amount of time, I think it should always be given for free. And I don't think that anybody should have to buy it because if you're going to give it out when the foundation first launches, I think it should always be an added future. But yeah, overall, I cannot wait to use this foundation again. I absolutely love the way it makes my skin look. And I do 100% recommend the foundation. I will leave everything listed below in case you guys want to check it out and grab this foundation for yourself. But yeah, I want to say thank you guys so much for supporting. And if there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. There's been so many new makeup releases. And if there's anything that you guys are interested in that you want me to review for you, then please let me know. But yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.